Hi, Lisa Archer here of NP Lisa Listens. And today's video topic is about preventing yeast infections. So vaginal, specifically yeast infections, is something that a lot of us women are very familiar with. So I wanna talk about ways to prevent them. And one very common way that women can develop a yeast infection is if they had to take an antibiotic for some type of bacterial infection, whether it's strep throat or you know something else, whatever. And then because the, the antibiotic is killing off not only the bacteria that's causing the problem, it's unfortunately killing off the friendly bacteria, which we have in our body as well. And we have it all throughout our body. Um, the gut and the vaginal area. So um, we have friendly bacteria and yeast that kind of keep each other in balance most of the time. Everything's great. But when you take that antibiotic, it kills those off and then the yeast overgrows and causes a problem. So some of your symptoms of a yeast infection could be a lot of burning down in that area, um, a lot of itching, and it's very uncomfortable. It's definitely gonna catch your attention. Um, some women may have some kind of thick white um, discharge, but not always. It may be just a very thin serous discharge, but either way, it should not have a foul odor. So um, one thing, another thing I like to address. So if a woman gets a yeast infection because of, a, of an antibiotic, fine, then that makes sense, right? But if I have women come in and they're getting a lot of vaginal yeast infections and maybe they haven't taken antibiotics, um, one thing I want to do, first of all, is rule out diabetes, because if you're diabetic and you're spilling a lot of glucose or sugar in your urine, that high sugar environment can lead to overgrowth, overgrowth of the yeast as well. So once you've ruled that out, then I like to talk to ladies about cleaning themselves. Um, we really only need water to clean the vaginal area, but um, if they want to use soap, you know, I always say don't over clean, don't overuse soap, especially with a lot of perfumes and dyes and things like that, the chemicals. Um, douching is not necessary. Things like feminine hygiene sprays and um, even vaginal wipes, all those types of things have chemicals in them that can strip the pH balance of that vaginal area, therefore causing an overgrowth of the yeast and then developing into a yeast infection. So I encourage them that, you know, if you don't want to use just water, um, try to just use like maybe a natural soap that doesn't have a lot of perfumes and dyes and just kind of around the outside. Don't get too vigorous with that soap and avoid things like bubble baths where you're sitting in there with that, that bubble bath chemical, you know, or you're putting a lot of uh, smelly, nice little oils in there, you know, excessively doing that can also lead to a yeast infection. So I don't recommend that they treat themselves with over the counter yeast medication because you know, it could be that they maybe did maybe they didn't actually have a yeast infection. Maybe they had something else like a bacterial vaginosis, which is completely different. It's an overgrowth of the bacteria, so that actually requires an antibiotic. And because women are able to buy those over the counter and maybe have you know unfortunately used them too much or maybe for the wrong thing, yeast has become resistant. So it is an easy treatment. Um, I usually prescribe fluconazole, it's a pill, and um, we used to be able to just give them one pill and they take it one time, done. But because of the resistance in some of the yeast, I usually prescribe two. So that is my regimen for that. So that is today's video. And if you have any topics that you're interested in learning more about, please leave it below in the comments. And if you like this video, please hit the like. And if you'd like notifications of more videos to come, please hit the bell and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Bye.